fish too. Hey, check it out, man. I've been seeing guys struggling with these uh, starter rods. So, look, we're getting a bite right now. So this is how I catch fish with these bobber poles. You just got to be patient, all right? Okay, see how it's going underwater? Pull gently to the left, and then is, see the meter at the bottom getting bigger? That means you're doing good. All right, so watch. I'm going to go ahead and reel them in now. That's the left mouse click for those who don't know if you're just starting out. All right, and, and also for those of you who just started out, the plus and minus keys up here are to move your mouse. Or the move the mouse. <laughs> Move your uh, bobber up and down. All right, let's see if we can catch a couple more fish. Usually what I see people doing is this. Left mouse button trying to hook up with a fish. Um, I have hooked up with some fish that way. It does work occasionally. Uh, this, this process is a little easier, though. We got to wait for another bite, and I'll show you how to do it again. All right, see how we're getting a bite. Be patient. Don't rush it. Sometimes I'll play with them. You know, I'll do this stuff. You know, just move it all around a little bit sometimes. Um, sometimes that works. Sometimes you just scare them off. So being patient, being patient is the key to this game and real life fishing. Just saying. All right, let's see if we can uh, get them to bite again. I've caught a lot of fish with this bamboo pole here. This is like nuts. Okay. And see, sometimes when they're taking that, you can pull on it a little bit. All right. Now, when he does take it, the meter down at the bottom of the screen that is gray right now is the one you're going to want to watch. Okay, watch it. See how it's pulling on it, and you just seeing it go up real slightly and then stop? Stop pulling then. Don't keep pulling because he's not on there good enough to even get a, you know, to get a hook in there. He's just got the bait in his mouth just kind of tasting it. So you'll have to wait a little bit longer. See, I think I scared him off right there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to run the bobber. Maybe we'll get bites faster if I put the bobber at 20. This spot over here is really good too for beginning on the game. I've caught a lot of fish here. A lot of fish. On almost any weather. Uh, nighttime's a little slow, but I've caught a lot of fish here. So basically, you use this technique. Okay, watch. Here goes, here goes, here goes. See how it's going up? Now I can pull a little harder. Once you start getting tension and that meter starts coming up like that, you can pull a little bit harder. All right, let's try it again. This is how I do it, and I catch uh, quite a bit of fish. I mean, I'm no professional. I'm no professional or anything, but I do get some fish. So let's see if we can get them to bite again. And this, the bamboo pole, the telestick, uh, the Bolognese rod, this technique works with all of those. So I've caught fish on all those. Um, And this, this is just how I do it. If you guys got your own way and can figure out your own special way, that's fine. I'm just trying to show people, uh, you know, a little bit easier technique from what I've been seeing people do. Well, a lot of the new kids, anyway, come into the game. Let's see if we can catch one more fish. 
All right, now pay attention because we got the bobber, we got the bamboo pole, and the center of the bottom of the screen there is that gray meter. And we will, once you start getting a bite and that bobber actually goes underwater and you're pulling on it like this, see that little sliver that just came up? Now, if the, even if it was underwater, you want to stop pulling it because you're not even going to hook the fish anyway. And your chances of catching the fish are bet are better if you leave it out there a little bit longer. Not that I was getting a bite there or anything, but yeah. So, and if you're not getting bites after a long time, you know, say leave it out there for, you know, however in-game minutes. And if you're not getting a bite, I would suggest leaving it out there 15 to 20 Maybe even 30 minutes before you move it, though. That's just my my deal. So let's see if we can get a, get another one to bite, so I can demonstrate the um, the meter again. It's beginning to get nighttime, though. That's the only problem. it kind of slows down at night at least for me anyway with the bobbers all right he's biting I'm gonna I'm just gonna mess with him because that's what I like to do sometimes <laughs> Sometimes it entices them to bite harder too, but you got to be really, really, really slow on it. And you might want to turn down your mouse settings. I mean, I've got a Razer TE Tournament Edition uh, mouse, and I got the Mamba. And 800, if I try to move slightly, it's so fast that, yeah you just rip the hook out of their mouth so you might want to also try that um, if you're having difficulties hooking fish come on fishy see if we can get them to take it and remember when you're watching this to see how slow I'm pulling and watch how that meter opens up at the bottom See, it's opening up. You can go a little bit faster now. And then, bam, you got a fish. See how that works, guys? Well, anyway, I just wanted to make this real quick tutorial video. If you guys got any ideas, I mean, I'm still kind of new to the game myself. If you guys got any tutorial ideas, let me know. Um, I'll try to get them made. Um... I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make some more um, give you know give people a hand a little bit and whatnot let's see if we can get us one more fish make sure you go to my channel and follow please on twitch I'd be greatly appreciated all right let's see if we can get one more fish because I think we'll get level 12 but yeah this I catch a lot of fish and this is how I do it so I just like I said I just wanted to show you guys how I do it um, I've seen a lot of people on a lot of the newer guys on stream just starting out um, kind of struggling and whatnot I tried to explain to one guy in in his chat room but he just didn't get it so I figure it's easier to make a video and for people to visually see what you're doing than it is to try to explain it you know what I'm saying come on one more fish and then uh, one more fish come on man I want this guy now I don't know if he's in a bite though oh there we go watch it open up open up oh, see look I lost him okay that's why you gotta watch that meter open up and close because I 
I pulled too fast. If I would have went a little bit slower, he would have got right on there. But, I mean, it's not like a 100% you're going to get a fish every time thing. But with practice, it will be more often than not. So, man, I want one more fish, but it's getting dark and it's going to get super slow. All right, guys. Well, I, I'm going to end this video here. I don't want to get it too long. I'm just trying to make a little quick tutorial on how to use this bobber uh, with it works this technique works with the bamboo the telestick and the I hope I didn't say the wrong pull earlier yeah the bamboo the telestick and the, um, the Bolognese rod you can do this with uh, any bobbers and it works really well Oh look, we might get one more. I might be able to end it on a note with a fish on the line. Give her a shot anyway. See how that's opening up? Oh, oh there we go. I got him. Oh crap, 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 crap. Okay, I got him. Woo! We got the fish here. Alright guys, I'm going to end it on that note. That's a good Crucian Carp. So I hope this video helps you out. And uh, remember to drop me a follow on Twitch. Thanks a lot. Peace.